Okay. Everyone, thanks for coming out. Make sure you can hear me. I'm probably pretty loud anyways. But this is very, very important because we already did Titanic. But I just want to make sure people understand the re-leveling. And we all know the controversy. Can you use survived insects as variables in the GLM function? Let's not talk about that now. That'll be a big debate about the for the statisticians although i've done it other ways and it's come out similar with chi squared etc other different types of tests but that's not the point i want to make sure you understand what's going on oh even before we do anything don't forget we have to change these variables now this is the important part that is in addition to the other video that we did with the titanic remember get the class of your variables watch survived it well sex is only three letters so i'll do that one okay it is a factor because i had it up before what about survived is it a factor let's take a look All right, character. So I have to change that now to a factor because a factor you can do different things in R. A character is kind of a generic name with the factor you can do it. So I want to change survive to a factor. How do I do it? Let's take a look. We go like this, just hit the factor, pop right up in the base of R, survived. And now it should be a factor. So that's what we have to change first because we have to change it as you know now it is a factor so as a result we can change it now and remember the and some of you answered this correctly yep that's survive where are we boom we're changing it to that dollar sign is and see the dollar will never stop being the world currency because in our it is and so now we basically have to do the recode oops but do we have no let's just do it like this and i'll go back up where is it well it's in the library and it's in the deep liar package as you all know we gotta get it now we can do our recode. Let's see here. Notice it says deep liar right there. You're a deep liar. Just remember it like that. So we're basically going to recode this to boom, 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 survived. We have to do it. Remember. Let's take a look. Let's say no is zero. Because that's the only way the GL function is going to know it. And yes is one. All right. And it changed up here, as you can see. So GLM function, as I have stressed, has to have that. So let's call it model one. Uh, just model for model one. We got the GLM. Uh, let's do the survived by sex. And we've already done this, so you should know. But I just want to make sure you understand the re-leveling. This is uh, binomial, not Poisson, uh, as I've talked about Poisson for counting numbers. All right, so let's take a look. As you know, summary. I'm not going to go through all this stuff because I have already for this kind of things. But the point here is you have sex male. See, even in those days of the Titanic, bad to be male. Maybe those pool boys out there protesting, you know, if they found out about this, they'd be protesting this, those proud boys, pool boys, whatever they are. I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, the point is they're angry white males. So you basically have this um, sex male, as we talked about log odds, uh, minus 0.25. It seems to be significant. Uh, null deviance and residual deviance, pretty good uh, difference between them, but we can talk about that. Say They say I, I, AIC, uh, the lower the better, but it actually depends on whether we're comparing it to models. But we're not going to get into all that right now. What the goal here is to understand is how to we, do we re-level this? We want to see the base is obviously female, where the intercept is very important, but how do we re-level it. I want this re 
leveled. So as we saw before sex already, but let me make sure just to make sure it is a factor. We're gonna relevel it in order to do that. So a Titanic survival again with the dollar sign and, but this time sex, cause we're doing this. And now relevel is not in deep layer, it's regular. Uh, our, our default, so that's uh, perfectly fine. Titanic. Uh, now, I'm not sure you don't always need it for this one. So let's take a look. But, I mean, before you needed Titanic and sex in the recode, this time you don't, you just need uh, sex. And let's take a look, see if it goes through. And it does. But this is what I want you to make sure of. When you do this, we'll call it model two right, the GLM function, you really got to write data Titanic survival. I've had problems with that before. So we're just going to go for survive being the dependent variable. Now, uh, and remember, because when hypothesis testing, just to remind you, we do um, reject the null and support the alternative hypothesis that there is a significant um, difference between gender, that gender is a significant variable and that you're uh, more likely to die in the Titanic if you are male. So now we're gonna go six, sex, sorry, family, what do I got? Binomial, this is what we're doing. And it will change the results if you don't put in binomial. Uh, I believe it makes it a little easier for R. And that's what you don't want to do. That's why a lot of those punishment tests, as I call them, uh, as if you've seen the chi-square one with the Yates, uh, I call it William Butler Yates because I like William Butler, but it's really not him. But the continuity makes it more di difficult. Uh, but this one, I always say data put make sure they know it's the Titanic survival. So now when we do the summary, model two, boom, we have sex female. So here, this is an addition instead of a subtraction and still significant, um, still the same here. Let me see up here. If you notice before the releveling, this was sex male and the intercept was female. Uh, so it's negative. And down here now is sex female, so it's positive, and the and the intercept is the male, which is negative. So you're more likely to survive here. This is female instead of being the base. Male is the base now because uh, I re-leveled it like that. So that was just a quick thing I wanted to make sure you understand the re-level concept. You got to make it into a factor. Uh, and then you do it again. I, I always have to write data equals Titanic survival. Anytime I relevel anything, I have to put the data in there. Sometimes it does not work and don't ask me why. Uh, but I think R, what happens is that's getting confused because I have a lot of data on here. But nonetheless, make sure you're able to relevel. Uh, because if you are in a class with me, I will ask what is... Um, this number, the estimate, which is very important, that's our practical value, as we talked about with linear regression. But also, you know, what about when we relevel? What is it? So that's going to be very important for the final uh, exam, which when we'll be running R, and I'll give you enough time to do it. So I hope everyone is uh, doing well out there and everyone surviving well uh, under these uh, unprecedented covid conditions and you know take care everyone uh if you've got any questions i love hearing the questions take care or comments you can definitely criticize my uh uh, uh statistics remember statistics isn't like two plus two equals four and that's it statistics there's a lot of debates and statistical wars out there uh take care everyone